I wasn't sure they were going to score tonight, and yet there's the score. It's there for us to to see. So um, yeah, they're a good team. Let's let's give them some credit. Let's. Um, as I say, let's brush ourselves down and, and, and move on to the next game. So Blackburn Rovers' long unbeaten home run comes to an end as Sheffield United smash and grab and take home all three points in a 2-0 away win at Ewood Park. We'll talk about it next. That's right, folks, back once again with another match review. This time looking back at Blackburn Rovers' midweek clash up against Sheffield United at Ewood Park. Now, we'll get to that in just one second. Now, if you're new to the channel, smash the old subscribe button. Keep me bang up today with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, world football related. We've got it all here under one roof. Now, let's jump into the thick of things and take a look at the match that took place at Ewood Park. And it ended up being 2-0 win for Sheffield United, thanks to two goals from the legendary, I think he's in that category now, legendary... Uh, veteran, he's also in that category, striker Billy Sharp, who can score goals for fun at this level, as Sheffield United completely, absolutely outplayed Rovers from the first whistle until the final whistle. So we were not really in this game. If you have a look at the old uh, the statistics, this is a little deceiving, but let's take a look at it anyway. 13 shots apiece for both sides. Uh, Rovers actually dominated possession with 54% compared to Sheffield United's 45%. Uh, we also had a better success rate on passing, 78-71. to 71. Sheffield United had more dribbles, 6-5. to five. We won more of the aerial duels, 37 to their 15. Uh, however, Sheffield United were more offensive on the ground with 9 tackles compared to our 5. They also had more corners, 7 to our 4. And uh, we were dispossessed 5 times to their 2. Now let's take a look at the old uh, match rate. Well, not match rate. It's the starting lineups first and foremost. The hosts... Uh, David Ryan between the sticks. They made Amari Bell. Char uh, Derek Williams was in the back four. Uh, Lenehan and Bennett made up their old right back. And then we had Armstrong, Smallwood, Evans and Reed, uh, Bradley, Dak and AG up front. Let's take a look at my match ratings for Rovers. Not the greatest reading, I'm afraid. David Ryan with a seven. Uh, probably one of the man in the matches uh, in my eyes. Amari Bell with a six. Uh, Derek Williams with a six. Uh, Darren Lennon with a six. Elliot Bennett with a five. Not an uh, uncharacteristic five for Elliot Bennett. Then we had Armstrong with a six. Smallwood with a six. Evans with a six. Uh, and uh, Harrison Reed with a seven, probably him and Raya, a bit of a toss up for who got the man of the match. Uh, Bradley Dak with a five, and Big DG with five. So Dak completely out, uh, been you know blocked out of the game. Uh, we could never, never really get to the thick things. And I think a lot of uh, the finger of blame will go to how Sheffield United is set up. And let's take a look at that as well. They set up with their three at the back. Uh, Henderson, obviously. Arch nemesis between the six. He's going to be go down in folklore. One of them people that you just don't like, especially if you're a Rovers fan. But anyway, in the back there, Basham, uh, O'Connell, X Rover, and Egan, three man centre back. Uh, and they also had Stevens and Freeman on the on the wings or the the wing backs or whatever you want to call them. Fleck, Norwood, uh, Duffy was the man. He was very instrumental in the middle of the park. Obviously, the goal scorer Billy Sharp and McGoldrick as well, who's also amongst the goals for Sheffield United this season. So. Um, Sheffield United were very, very good uh, in possession. They they offered the, the the better chances throughout the game, not just not just the two goals, but all in all, they completely outplayed us, and, and they looked like the home side as well. To be honest with you, so uh, despite us going on a, such a over a year unbeaten at Ewood Park, uh, we actually lost it in a bit of a bit of a whimper effort, really, just kind of pathetic display by Rovers. Um, but. I think Mowbray needs to get the old uh, scrapbook out and start preparing for teams that come into row to Ewood with this formation with three at the back because we had no answer for it. We had no answer. Um, even the substitutes when Charlie Morgan came on, Rothwell came on. Who else was the other substitute? Ben Brereton. Again, he's not really having the best of luck. Um, I, I want to see him start a game. Give him a game to start. I don't think the Bolton Wanderers game is the game for him to start. But we need to get him actually starting start some matches. Um, to, to see what he's really all about. I know he is still a bit uh, match rusty and uh, it's not at that level yet. Probably in the same bracket as Rodwell. But um, I think once we get him match fit, he will start to deliver the goods. He does look a little bit like Bambi on ice at the moment. Not, not He did have a golden opportunity, probably the best opportunity for Rovers. But all in all, a pretty lacklustre uh, uh, appearance or, or showing for Rovers overall. I'm not picking out individuals. But anyway, let's take a look at where all the shots took place. Now, we are the orange. Uh, I don't know what that long line is that heads towards the corner flag. I don't know whose effort that was. But pretty much, um, we had a few opportunities. Let's take a look at some more detailed statistics, if I can get my words out. We had 495 passes of the ball. Um, they had, we had more dribbles. Uh, they had uh, 
14 attempts at some tackles, uh, 9 interceptions, 20 clearances. Uh, we blocked them 11 times. Um, we had uh, 651 touches of the ball. They had 571. Um, but yes, anyway, let's take a look at the heat maps. If you want to see, if you're a heat map man or a, a woman, this is the uh, this is the hot spots uh, up on the left hand side, which would have been an Armstrong area, uh, and also down there at the middle centre back spot, which would probably be um, Daryl Lenahan. So there's some hot spots up there. Uh, as for uh, Sheffield United. There, guys, hardly really made it into the box. There's a couple of hot pockets in there as well. But anyway, take what that from you will. Let's take a look at some of the old uh, comments. Because I've got no fan input today. I think my Sheffield United fan was two sheets to the wind. I couldn't get anything out of him. Uh, well, not in time for this video anyway. Simon Woodford said this. Shame our home run came to an end tonight, but lost to a decent side. Still only two points off playoffs. Dust ourselves down and get ready to thump wanky Wanderers on Saturday. Now Gareth Batsby said this. Right, this meaningless unbeaten run Lark has gone. Knuckle down and concentrate on winning the next game and the next one etc. Now Matt I don't know, I can't read that other one. Uh, would love to see a midfielder Reed Rothwell with Dak just in front. Some positivity with Rovers, uh, with players whose first thought is a forward pass. Meanwhile Luke Thornley said this. Granted the home run has come to an end sometime, but it it was very poor performance tonight. The team looks so tired and lethargic in the later stages of games and needs addressing ASAP. Credit to Sheffield United. They came here with a game plan, stuck to it, and deserved the win tonight. Carl Rourke said this. Keep the faith for, for Pete's sake. Better, uh, best state the club has been in for years. Now, Linz Lewis said this. All very flat tonight. Never got going. Quite simply outplayed. Could have been many, many more without David Raya. Uh, meanwhile, Rovers Chat said this. We have not been at our best, but we came up against a decent Sheffield United team who played around too quick for us to handle. No need to overreaction to uh, though it's all about reaction at Bolton meanwhile Andy Neal said this beaten by a better team both on and off the ball Rovers had no answer Rothwell did more in 20-25 minutes than everybody else put together and sums up the night from an attacking point of view hashtag Rovers meanwhile Rob Iserwood said this ah well had to had to sometime every faith in this manager and squad Chris Martin though he said this I'll be surprised if Sheffield United aren't up there fighting for promotion this season based on tonight's performance they were so well organised they kept their shape kept the ball well and frustrated us all night. The best team to visit Ewood Park this season. I say that much. I'll say that much, he says. Uh, Evan Douglas said this. Can't complain about that. Better than us in every area. We never even... Uh, we were never even in the game. Meanwhile, Becky said this. Lacked energy and movement. The best team overall won on to Saturday, which is a big, big, big game. And we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Ian Anthony said this. I'd say Sheffield United, best side to visit Ewood this season. Snuffed out anything we had. Ryan Martin said this. Welp, Rovers unbeaten run at Ewood was always going to come to an end eventually. Now, Jen Bellany wraps it up with, yep, beaten by the better team. But there were highlights. The heads didn't go and we didn't give up. Marvellous to have Mulgrew back. Rothwell was positively rampant and hands down. Highlight of the first half. When the ball was lofted into the BBE, uh, t'was my nephew that headed it. So credit to that wee lad there who had his own moment in the sun. Uh, as for the rest of the Rovers fans or Rovers players, no moment in the sun for them. Anyway, let's take a look at what went on around the championship. Uh, the old midweek drama. Uh, any picks? There were a lot of draws knocking about. Um, other Stoke beat Bolton 2-0. That's our... Uh, Next opponent, so that's good. Villa, 3-3 uh, three, three draw yesterday. Villa with their 3-3 draw yesterday up against Preston. That result costed Steve Bruce, or cost Steve Bruce his job. Uh, Middlesbrough continued their impressive start to the season. 2-0 win away from home at Ipswich. Leeds also won 1-0 at Hull. QPR also beat Reading and uh, Nottingham Forest drew with Millwall. 2-2. Two, two. As for the next, uh, in fact, let's have a look what that's done to the table. Leeds are flying high with Middlesbrough and Sheffield United all on 22 points. West Brom are in fourth with 21 points. Uh, Norwich are in fifth. Brentford make up the playoffs and in sixth spot. As for the bottom, Preston, Ipswich and Millwall. No change at the bottom. Those three teams struggling to get some points on the board. As for Rovers, we are 14th and our next opponents, Bolton, are in 15th. What a classic situation that will be for the old derby, boys and girls. Now you've heard a little bit what I've had to say about the match. Now what do you really want to hear is what the gaffer had to say about the result against Sheffield United. Let's take a little listen to what he had to say after the match. Well, we played against a good team. We knew that before kick-off, really. We'd done some preparation. We knew that they'd have a lot of the ball with you know, Fleck and... Um, Duffy in there, Norwood. It's very difficult with the way we play, really. Unless you know, it could have been a night to leave Bradley off the pitch altogether and maybe play three really athletic midfield players. Um, 
but that's easier said than done. It's always the result in the aftermath that make them thought of patterns, of course, because uh, I've decided to stick with what we've been doing and how well we've done. And um, you know, I thought we, whilst they had a lot of the ball for staff and gave us lots of problems, we controlled the fact they didn't have any real efforts at goal apart from some set plays and some corners. Um, and if anything, when we decided to change formation, I think we give them more problems second half. I think they scored, if anything, slightly against the runner play. It was a more even football match. Um, but listen, defeat is part and parcel of football, as I've been saying to the group there. It's, let's not get too down about it. Uh, one defeat at home in over a year. So um, brush ourselves down, get ready to go again. Let's, we've done fantastically well, excuse me, so far this season. and. Um, Let's look forward to the next game, the next challenge. If we can get three points on Saturday, it'll be better than what we've been sort of averaging, really, with some draws recently. Let's see if we can pick up the three points and um, and everything will be rosy in the garden again. So let's um, put tonight behind us quickly and move on. Oh, I think they're a good side. I'm, uh, time will tell. I saw, I saw them get battered by Middlesbrough. They were 3-0 down after 20 minutes at the Riverside. Um, I think Derby County showed what a high quality football team they are. I think, you know, likes of Brentford showed that, you know, they haven't strung wins together, but uh, there's some good football teams out there. I think I think these are physically strong, three big centre halves, some athletic wing backs, they're very technical little midfield players. Um I wasn't sure they were gonna score tonight and yet there's the scores there for us to, to see. So um yeah, they're a good team. Let's let's give them some credit. Let's um as I say, let's brush ourselves down and, and, and move on to the next game. I think so. I think we shouldn't get carried away. You know, we've, it's it's the second defeat in 11 games. The defeats are part and parcel of football. We have to um, understand that. It's, it's almost like a little shock to the system when you lose a game at the moment. And yet we've, um, we will play against some really good sides this year and we have to accept that defeats are coming. Um, it's just we have to grasp the moments when we are in the ascendancy and when we're on top and we have to punish teams and um, and hopefully we can do that. Um, we do feel, as we've been talking about, as if we haven't really accrued as many points as, as the performance level has deserved. I'm not sure we deserve to win tonight, but um, I think, as I said, let's let's accept this defeat and realise we played against a good side and um, let's get ready for the weekend. So it'd be nice to get three points and... and um, and just keep ticking along, keep the points tally ticking along as the games come. Let's see where it takes us. Let's see um, how this season unfolds in front of us. You know, we're getting to a point now where there's 11 games where, you know, the, the league table starts to take a little bit of shape. I know it's been really, really tight. Um, but, we, you know, we do have to start picking up a few more three points along the way, which I'm sure we will with, the, with what the spirit we've got and the players we've got. Just continue to look forward to it, really. And as I say, not not get too anxious after a defeat. Anyway, let's wrap it up now. Let's take a look at what's going on next time out in the old championship. Leeds United will take on Brentford uh, on the one of the early kickoffs. Middlesbrough go at Forest. That'll be a, or Middlesbrough will take on Forest uh, this weekend. That'll be a tasty one. Norwich up against Stoke. We've got the bit between the teeth as well. Preston up against Wigan. Another Northwest Derby. QPR take on Derby. Uh, and of course, Bolton take on Blackburn Rovers. And we'll have a match preview with that match in a couple of days. Maybe within 24 hours. We'll wait and see. And that's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, smash the old subscribe button. Get you back up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, world football related. We've got it all here under one roof. So, yeah, it is. Uh, also, check out the old description. Links to my other social media platforms are in there. Twitter, Facebook, they're all in there. Um, so, yeah, bit of a down on the dumpers, this one. Um, but I had a feeling. I had a feeling Sheffield United uh, were going to come away with, with something, if not all three points. I just, I just, It just had that vibe. It had that feel. Sheffield United have been playing really well uh, recently. And they were up in the top two, three spots for a reason. Um, it just sucks. It's just the way that we we folded today. It was was it's uncharacteristically not Rovers. You know, we we we've always been there fighting hard to the death, uh, whether it is to get a point or to get all three points or even to lose in style. You know, we've always been there, and today there was none of that. It just seemed like a burst bubble. You know, you know, we're out, out for the count. Let's just let's just take you know. Get this performance out of the way, brush under the carpet a little bit, and let's prepare for a big one up against Bolton. Now, Bolton have started the season, they started pretty well. They've now started to crumble a little bit and are starting to free fall down the bottom of the table. Can we get them on that sort of downward loop? 
uh, towards the, you know, in the, the recent dip of form, or will they bounce back up against us? Because this is a game that they'll want to come and come and win. Also, same goes for us. We'll want to win this one. But no, you got to give credit to Sheffield United. They came in with a plan. They stuck to it. They got all three points. They got a, two crucial goals. Billy Sharp knows how to do that in this level. And in the end, he, they, they go away with three points, and they are sitting pretty in uh, third place. Anyway, that's pretty much all I've got for you. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Chat for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>